dear, I'm losing my mind. Hello humans, my name is Dale Kingsmill and today I am here back again with another mythology story for you. That was bizarrely violent for an opening. Let's just, let's just breeze on past that. I have no real rhyme or reason for why I have selected this story to tell you this week. I just wanted to tell it, I just felt like telling it. So let's go straight on ahead and get into the story of Asclepius. After getting it on with Apollo, a woman named Coronis assumes that this isn't gonna be some grand, dramatic, classical romance. I mean, she's heard the stories, she knows what Apollo is like, he's not exactly into that monogamy thing. So she's just not gonna make a whole big thing out of it, you know? She's just gonna just let it be. So she just thinks, you know, oh, well, wasn't that nice? That was nice, wasn't it? All right, now I'll just go and get married to this other fellow from my hometown. Because I mean, it's not as if Apollo and her were gonna stay together. This is Greek mythology. They weren't gonna stay together. But Apollo finding out about this either because he's psychic and had a vision or because a crow came and was gossiping in his direction about it. Lo, can't keep a woman, can't keep a woman. I can't do a crow, I can do parrot. That's the best crow I've got. Crows. And so anyway, Apollo like singes the crow and that's why it's black now instead of white, which was apparently its original color. Cause he's like, shoot the messenger, damn it. I'm gonna shoot all the messengers I want. But anyway, Apollo is very hurt by Coronis' decision to, you know, do what he was gonna do anyway. And so he cries about it a lot and he gets his sister Artemis to go and exact revenge on Coronis for him. And so Artemis, to get her brother's revenge, goes and like horribly murders Coronis and a bunch of all of her neighbors just for no real reason in a massive bloodbath. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. And so Artemis and Apollo and Hermes are piling up all the bodies onto funeral pyres and as the flames lick around and start burning at Coronis' body, Apollo goes, oh wait, yeah, you know, I should probably get my, get my unborn son out of there, right? Right? I should probably do that. Hermes, could you get the baby out of the womb for me? I swear this guy can't do anything for himself. But of course, now that Apollo has the baby, he doesn't know what the hell to do with it. He doesn't know what the hell to do with the baby. What's he gonna do with the baby? Chiron, you've raised and tutored babies before, right? You do that a bunch. Yeah. Have have a baby. What, what's it called? Oh, uh, damn, hadn't thought of that. Um, well, you know, we had to, uh, we had to cut it out of its mother. So, I mean, like, Asclepius? That, that sounds namey, right? Asclepius means to cut open, so that's where he got his name from, from there. So Chiron the centaur raises and tutors this demigod in his cave as he is so often done throughout mythology. And in particular, he teaches Asclepius about the art of medicine. And as he got older, Asclepius developed this art and he mastered it to a sheer perfection. Like, to the point where he could heal the dead. <laughs> he just got so psyched about how good he was at this healing gig, at this, this medicine thing, that he just he became a necromancer, and he just starts reviving dead peeps all over the place. No matter what the ailment, no matter how extreme, he could fix it. What's that? Hippolytus killed by a big wave with a seal on it that frightened him and made him crash his chariot. No problem. I'll just patch that up real quick. Bing! Alive again. Capaneus zapped by an angry Zeus for shouting about how much better he is than the king of the gods while scaling a ladder at the wall of Thebes. That, that's nothing. No big. All it needs is a little de -zappification. Bing! Bing! Alive again. People who drowned. People who'd been splattered and crushed. People who'd been chopped up into little tiny pieces and sprinkled into a stew. None of it mattered. Nothing was beyond Asclepius' necromantic powers. But pretty quickly, Hades got sickly 
of Asclepius poaching all of his underworld citizens, and he lodged a formal complaint. Zeus didn't want to deal with any of this nonsense. He never wants to deal with any of this nonsense. You know, he's got skis bagging to do, a very full schedule of skis bagging. And so he just zapped Asclepius to death down into the underworld with his lightning bolt. It's too bad Asclepius couldn't de zapificationify himself. But now Apollo was so mad about everything, but he can't fight Zeus for multiple reasons. So instead, he takes it out on the Cyclopses' disease. Cyclops. The, the Cyclopses. Because, you see, one of them had invented the Thunderbolt weapon for Zeus during the Titanomachy, the war against the Titans, way back in the day. So, getting revenge on just a whole bunch of their race was, was sound logic. Mm. But now Poseidon's all upset because Apollo has killed one or more of his sons. So now Zeus is like, ugh, seriously? Seriously, you gotta start killing your cousins. You gotta start bringing this into the family. You can't kill family members. Now I gotta come up with an actual punishment for you. Like, I'm, I'm this close to sending you to Tartarus. As if Zeus hadn't just killed a family member. I d this is your... And so this punishment is how Apollo ended up indentured to Admetus, which I talked about a while back in a different video, and all the adventures that occurred therein. So if you haven't seen that video and you want to know what happens immediately after this part of the story, you can click right over here to go and see what happens. Or also I'll put a link in the description below. That is Gosh Reborn. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story. If you did, I would really, really love it if you could hit that like button and share this video on your favorite social media website or in person or whatever. Just sharing, you know, sharing the love sharing the love. And in fact, if you're on social media and you would be interested in following me on social media, you can find all of my links for those places in the description below. Blah, blah, blah. And before I forget, because I almost certainly will forget, uh, the deadline for the new Loot Crate theme for next month is coming up in just a couple of days. So this theme is combat, and if you are interested in, in that area of, of geekdom, so like fighting games, um, I know there's a lot of Blizzard stuff going on in there. There's Hunger Games, I'm repping Hunger Games, yeah, with my mocking J pin. This was actually given to me by Omar's mum. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you might want to consider uh, signing up for Loot Crate now so that you can get some of those goodies. And if you would like to do that, then you can use the URL uh, lootcrate.com slash Kingsmill, I believe. I'm trying to remember my details correctly. And if you use the discount code HUMAN, then you'll get 10% off. So that's a nice way. If you've been umming and eyeing and tossing up whether you want to get Loot Crate, that's a way that you can save a bit of money on it, and I can get a bit of money from it. And it's like, oh, it all balances out and it's lovely. So yes, Loot Crate, uh, you have until the 19th to sign up if you want to get the combat Loot Crate that is coming up for December. That's the month, right? What month are we in? November? One of them end months. For now, I do believe that's it. I'm done. Email this to your grandma, and I will see you some other time. We're just gonna keep on, keep on going, keep on trucking, just keep on keeping on.